Austin and Catherine McBroom are back and they are trying to clear the Ace family name. Recently, they uploaded a video that is just over an hour long, but explains from their side what exactly happened to their home. If you recall, we did some videos not that long ago about how people were reporting that the Ace family was declaring bankruptcy and how their home was at risk of foreclosure and really in a legal stage known as pre-foreclosure. As of right now, this video explaining their situation is at just over 3 million views and number eight on the trending page because people really wanted to know what happened. In July of 2021, there were reports that the Ace family was getting evicted, but according to them, it was all just a big misunderstanding. The Ace family claimed that they were scammed by a contractor for two years. A contractor who not only didn't have a license, but was actually using someone else's license instead for two years. Then on top of that, this contractor also got an architect and a realtor all in on the scam. The reason they are claiming to have been scammed is because they never received a certificate of occupancy when the work on their home was done. To put it simply, if you move into a newly built home and you don't have a certificate of occupancy, then it cannot be legally occupied, which means that they could be issued a vacate order at any time and they become at risk of having the city cut off certain utilities even. And because they went into escrow without getting the certificate, it also also made getting loans from the bank extremely difficult, which is believed to be the reason that the home went under foreclosure. It was nothing that the Ace family did, and instead they are putting all of the blame on a contractor that scammed them out of millions. The video they released hoping to clear the air around their situation is causing a heated debate online. Fans are feeling sorry for them, but the Ace family critics are not hesitating when it comes to sharing their opinions. Upon seeing all of the criticism online, Catherine decided to respond, and in an Instagram story she said, Before I put this behind me, I'd like to share some other issues we had that we didn't add in the video. I know I don't need to, but it's my choice. Hopefully it can help others who are home buyers or future home buyers, and no, I don't want anyone to feel bad for me. This is not about that. If it was, I would have shared this all years ago. And for those criticizing our decisions and blaming us for the issues, shame on you. People need to understand that this all started in 2018, four years ago when I believed in people. I believe that people were good and honest. I believe that I was around good people, but we were taken advantage of. It's caused me to move differently and change my trust due to life experience. It was a learning lesson. I'm sorry, but didn't she say something about giving advice to, to home buyers or future home buyers? She did say, hopefully it can help others, and then goes on to not give any advice or even explain what exactly happened. She just says that she trusted people too much. I mean, is that the advice? Now, despite putting out what Catherine believed to be a good summary of what happened, she was still met with critics in her DMs. She even reposted one person who replied to her story saying, All you're talking about is cheap material, as if you deserve the highest quality. And in response to that, Catherine said, I paid for the highest quality, but it was pocketed. That's what corrupt contractors do. If you really pay attention, you'll understand, but the problem with people like you is that you've already made up your mind about me. You don't care to listen. There's a reason why we have two ears and one mouth. Listen more. I'm still losing it though over the way that she spelled paid. P-A-Y-E-D, Catherine? Alrighty then. The Ace family needs to keep their responses to their vlog videos, I think, and put out less of these direct attacks. I get that she probably feels pretty righteous right now getting to tell this random hater that they don't know anything, but your life would be so much better if you just don't respond. Now, what's wild is that at the end of this video, they posted, you know, explaining all this horrible stuff that they're going through with their home and their bank accounts. The Ace family did announce that they were also buying another new home. Now, in response to the accusations that they were not paying their bills, Catherine explained and said, I have to say this, if it was true that we weren't paying our bills, this is like the narrative people want to give it. If it was true that we didn't pay our bills, why the freak would I spend forty to $50,000 on my gardening and get all this gardening done just a couple months ago and literally show it to you guys on our channel? And in the announcement of their new home, Catherine also spoke about the possibility of suing the people that they claim had scammed them. She goes on to say, As far as us suing anybody, like we should be suing these people, but yeah, time and energy, like I'm just so over it. I just want to move on. Yeah, we lost millions of dollars in this house, but we just got a new house. But that's all the time that we have for you today, folks. Stay classy and I'll see you on the next one.